everybody once again. Um, it's another time for a recap of of The Walking Dead, episode three, called titled "Thank You." Um, I watched it really late Sunday night because um, I had I worked a six day shift since then. Uh, yes, but I was really exhausted. But I did not let watching The Walking Dead stop me from anything uh, because it's one of my favorite shows and. Um, the episode was very intense, and it, 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 but if you haven't seen the, seen the episode yet, spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear what happens, if you haven't seen it yet, just, you can, you can just uh, come back to it after you see it. Okay. Now, it, all, like, it started off with a bunch of Alexandrians wanting to follow the walker herd, and, um, and eventually Sturgis got really was chicken shit and uh, he was a coward and he pointed out his gun and he shot uh, Scott in the leg. But and you know Scott is being played by Kendrick Green, who is the real life husband of Bonica Martin Green, who plays Sasha on the show, which is which is really lo- nice that they they work together. But I hope he stays on with more ro- more episodes down the road. Who Maybe we could see an interaction between him and Sasha, so that would be great. And um, and David, one of the Alexandrians, got bitten by a walker, and then Michonne put him down. And Rick decided to have run to the RV to uh, to uh, head back to Alexandria and to hear where the horn comes from. That's now that and Glenn, Michonne, Keith. Uh, Scott and Annie and David uh, went together to uh, try to get back to Alexandria because Glenn says he has a wife to go to. And eventually, meanwhile, Daryl on his motorcycle, looking as good as ever, Abe and Sasha were trying to lure the herd to Alexandria so they could get rid of each and every one of them. And then Daryl decided to go back to Alexandria so they could, he could help them out. And he's Possibly thinking about Carol as well. I think so. Something's happening. And um, they say, if you go, yeah, we can't stop you. And he says, I have faith in you. And he, and he took off on his motorcycle. And, uh, and eventually Abe and uh, Sasha tried to follow the herd. And then Rick was running over to the RV and... He saw he had attacked a few, he killed a few walkers on the way, and then something, I think one of the victim's knives cut Rick's head, and he's got a lot of blood on it. And then he went into the RV to, to see if, uh, to see if he could, uh, start it up and head back to Alexandria. Well, meanwhile, uh, they all arrived in this town. Uh, David was talking to Michonne about how he met his wife, Betsy. And uh, how she was his first friend, and they fell in love. And and Aaron found them, uh, took them back to Alexandria. Cute, they were only married for three months, and uh, eventually um, he knew he was dying of that after the Walker bit him, uh, like back in the shoulder, back in the shoulder area. So it was his time. His time was almost up, and eventually. Uh, they stop in this uh, feed store. It was just like a pet store, so they all hid in there, and Glenn decided to head back to Alexandria on his own, and he brought Nick and Nicholas went with him. And um, eventually, Glenn and Nicholas, uh, they, Nicholas, he's trying to be a good person. He's changed a bit, and Glenn's trying to, teaching him how to be, be brave and fight that it, his life isn't about him anymore, but eventually he sees uh, one of the one of the people he worked with, uh, he and Aiden worked with, Aiden got us his soul, he did not deserve to go out like that in the episode then. so eventually Glenn tries, says, I'll take him down, and eventually he tries to, and Glenn says, you're not that guy anymore, and then so he put him down, and so they decided to distract the walkers by burning a building, one of the buildings that he and Aiden went in, in one time, but event, and his crew, and then all of a sudden, uh, it was burnt down, so they tried to find another building to burn down. Meanwhile, uh, Michonne and, uh, 
Scott, Annie, and uh, David. David was talking, was running to his wife. That the if you get if you get this let this it doesn't mean by being naked. I love you very much. Um, but Michonne saw the note and then she wrote, took the pen and wrote something on her arm and said, "You're getting home because you we're gonna get you home so you can say goodbye to your wife." So, but eventually, uh, there were noises that then the herd started coming. You know, and Annie who quit the, who's injured and Scott who is injured. Uh, they decided the herd was coming, and then all of a sudden Michelle came out with her baton and then started chopping up heads everywhere. And Scott, they all escaped. David, Scott, and Anne, Annie, and Michonne. And uh, this they were escaping from the walkers, but Annie was way far behind, and then she fell down. And then he just said, "They say just go." She said, "Just go, just go." And then she started shooting at a few walkers, but eventually the walkers all surrounded Annie and, the, and started eating her. And now Annie is gone, and so was Sturgis is gone, the one who shot Scott. He ended up being attacked by, by the walker herd after he escaped. Uh, bad move for Sturgis. And eventually, uh, Scott, Scott uh, David, and Keith and Michonne uh, all went over to Hall tried to escape from the walker herd, but eventually they decided to climb over a fence. He got over, over, and Scott got over, but eventually uh, Michonne and David were trying to come over, and walkers were attacking Michonne, and Michonne just, as the badass that she really is, I just love her. He just kicked the walkers right in the face and tried to escape, but poor David wasn't so lucky at all. He, the walkers just pulled him down right from the from his leg and he and devoured the walk and the walkers devoured him. Eventually Michonne got got over the fence, which is very which she's very, very lucky. And eventually they couldn't have saved David nor Andy, so they escaped. Uh, so they had to escape and head back to Alexandria while helping uh date while helping Scott with his injury. They helped him get back to Alexandria so he could get get his leg checked out after the shooting. And eventually when they were in the water, the pond, the river, uh, he sees a reflection. It's a reflection of him, of his face in the water. And then he started, like, I don't know what it means, but it means something to him. Eventually uh, he lost his team and uh, now he has to venture out on his own. And he, and he prays that Scott will be all right. Well, meanwhile, let's go to the chase passed over to Glenn and Nicholas. Eventually, Glenn and Nick Nicholas ran into a lot of trouble. The herd was going. There were, there were walkers everywhere. And um, eventually, um, Glenn and uh, Nicholas uh, tried to, but they were trapped. And eventually, they got up on the dump, on a dumpster. And then Nicholas started hallucinating. And Glenn kept saying to Nicholas, look at me, look at me. And then when he came to, he looked at Nicholas with his face, serious face. Nicholas looked at Glenn with serious face, and he said, thank you. And he commits, and he shoots himself in the head. And then blood came all over Glenn's face. And then all of a sudden, he Nicholas grabs Glenn. They both fall down off the dumpster, and then Glenn landed, landed down. And it looked like the walkers were, like, devour, eating Glenn, killing Glenn. But, and I was just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I was just like horrified. And I'm just like, no, 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 he can't go out like that. There's no way he's going to go out like that. Eventually, I believe that the walkers were eating Nicholas now that he committed suicide. And I believe that uh, Glenn has slid under the dumpster where, where he has to be safe for now. And um, because I know Glenn isn't dead because Stephen is Stephen Yoon, who plays uh, Glenn Reed. Uh, he's been there since the very beginning. He, I saw pictures of him um, exploring dead fan sites that he is still shooting The Walking Dead. And he was not in the, in the morning episode of The Talking Dead. Uh, so that means it's a good sign that Glenn is still alive. But, I, but the thing is, when... Will we see him again? Hopefully by the mid season finale. I just we just hope let's hope and pray that Glenn makes it out alive.
um, that his, his life will be saved. Meanwhile, Daryl was trying to, yeah, Rick was trying to locate Glenn, but got got Daryl, and um, and eventually they were talking, and then uh, the remainder of the wolves that Morgan let escape uh, came into the RV and started attacking Rick, and then Rick uh, shoot him. Rick shot all, killed all the wolves, and eventually he had this face, and um, all of a sudden he started shooting, shooting, shooting in the RV. And then in the ending part, I uh, showed us Scott, Michonne, and Heath getting back to Alexandria safely. But Daryl, uh, he uh, and Sasha and Abe, they haven't gone back yet because Daryl finally connected with Sasha and Abe and the herd. So uh, eventually he went, he went back to help out, and then um, eventually Rick was heading to Alexandria, but eventually the problem is the RV would not start, and there were all these walkers going around, going around the, the RV, and eventually Rick is feeling trapped at the moment. So eventually uh, we will have to wait, and maybe in about a week or two, to see if, the, if they get out alive. Because uh, next week's episode is titled "Here's Not Here." Uh, it's main. It's a 90-minute special, 90-minute episode, and it's focused mostly on Morgan, on how they're gonna do a backstory of how he became this changed man, not believing in killing people and thinking all life is precious. So I'm really looking forward to it to see what Lenny James, uh, who plays Morgan, who is a great actor. I'm, I just want to, I just can't wait to see that episode. It's going to be a good one. But, uh, but I think of the episode, thank you. Um, it's a, it was a really intense episode. And um, I, we all know that Glenn, I still believe, and will always believe that Glenn isn't dead. Although, um, like, uh, nobody escapes from The Walking Dead. Eventually, Glenn, Glenn is alive. We have to hope and pray, and um, and we and we will see Glenn again, hopefully. And Dar and Daryl, hopefully, coming down the road, um, we're gonna see that Daryl's gonna get be captured by some crazy people, and eventually, Daryl, uh, we just hope he he will make it out alive. He there's supposed to be a Carol moment in season six in the sixth episode that reminded me of him of Carol. So eventually, can't wait to see that. And eventually, um, um, the episode, uh, Here's Not the Here, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be an interesting episode because it only revolves around Morgan. So eventually, well, I guess that's it for me. And, um, if you want to leave your comments in the comment box, uh, please do so. Remember, no bashing, no negativity, and no bullying allowed on this blog. So this is Jen speaking and signing off. And uh, good night, sleep tight. Don't let the walkers bite. And I'll see you next week for another uh, another blog discussion of The Walking Dead. Good night.